Hello Grade 8 students, welcome again to my class. We are now on Week 5, Quarter 3 of Mathematics 8. I am your teacher for today, Teacher Dan. In this lesson, we are expected to, number 1, apply the concept of congruent triangles to find the unknown parts of the triangle. And number 2, we have solve for the value of the given variable to determine the measure of the side or angle of congruent triangle. Today, we are to solve for the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But before we move on, let us recall first what are congruent triangles. We know that two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired such that corresponding angles and corresponding sides are congruent. So, let us recall, you are given here, triangle ABC congruent to triangle DEF. What you will do is to name the corresponding congruent parts. So, let's have for the angles. We have angle A congruent to angle D. Angle B congruent to angle E. Angle C congruent to angle M. And for the sides, we have side AB congruent to side DE. Side BC congruent to side EF. And lastly, we have side AC congruent to side DF. For this lesson, we will now apply the concept of congruent triangles to solve for the unknown parts of the congruent triangles. Now, let us have this activity. You are given triangle LUC and triangle MOR. As you can see, corresponding parts are similarly marked. We are given angle L is equal to 43 degrees. Angle U is equal to 105 degrees. What you will do is to find the measures of angle R, angle M, angle O, and angle Z. As for the sides, you are given segment LU is equal to 7, segment OR is equal to 9.5, and segment LZ is equal to 12. You are going to find the lengths of the segments UC, MO, and MR. To solve this, let us first identify the corresponding congruent angles. So we have angle L congruent to angle M. And since angle L is equal to 43 degrees, therefore angle M is also 43 degrees. And then we have angle U congruent to angle O. It is also given that angle U is 105 degrees. Therefore, angle O is 105 degrees. What about angle C? We only know that angle C is congruent to angle R. And none of these angles have the given measure. So we will now solve for the measure of angle C by applying the angle sum theorem of the triangles, which states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle C is equal to 180 minus the quantity 43 degrees plus 105 degrees, which are the measures of angle L and angle U respectively. So we have angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of the, the two angles 148 degrees. So we have angle C is equal now to 32 degrees. And since angle C is congruent to angle R and angle C is 32 degrees, therefore angle R is equal to 32 degrees also. Let us now continue for the sides of the triangles. We have segment LU congruent to segment MO. And since LU is equal to 7, then MO is also 7. Segment UC congruent to segment OR. And since OR is equal to 9.5, then UZ is also 9.5. Lastly, we have segment LZ congruent to segment MR. 
LC is equal to 12, then MR is equal to 12 also. Okay, let us move on to the next activity. In this activity, we are given that the pair of triangles LUZ and MOR are congruent. What we will do is to solve for the values of X, Y, and C. So let us now solve for the value of Y. So here we are given segment UZ congruent to segment OR. And as you can see, segment UC is equal to 8Y plus 10, while segment OR is equal to 10Y. By substitution, we have 8y plus 10 is congruent to 10y. So, we have 8y plus 10 is equal to 10y. Adding negative 8y to both sides of the equation, we have negative 8y plus 8y plus 10 is equal to 10y minus 8y. So, here, negative 8y plus 8y will be cancelled out because it is already equal to 0. So, we have 10 is equal to 2y. Dividing both sides by 2, we have 10 over 2 is equal to 2y over 2. So, in this case, we can cancel also 2. So, it will result to y is equal to 5. And then, we have the value of X. LZ. Segment LZ is congruent to segment MR. And segment LC is equal to 5X congruent to segment MR, which is equal to 4X plus 12 by substitution. So we have 5X is equal to 4X plus 12. And then adding negative 4x to both sides of the equation, we have 5x minus 4x is equal to negative 4x plus 4x plus 12. So again, negative 4x, positive 4x will be cancelled out. So we have x is equal to 12. And for the last variable, we have segment. LU congruent to segment MO. And segment LU is equal to 24, while segment MO is equal to Z. Therefore, the value of Z is equal to 24. No need for us to solve because it is already given. Okay? And for our practice exercises, you are given triangle DOG congruent to triangle CAT. As you can see, corresponding parts are similarly marked. We have angle D is equal to 46 degrees. Angle A is equal to 34 degrees. What you will do is to find the measures of angle G, angle O, angle C, and angle D. And as for the sides, you are given segment. DG is equal to 9, segment AC is equal to 11.5, and segment TA is equal to 14. You are going to find the lengths of the segments TC, DO, and OG. To solve this, let us first identify the corresponding congruent angles. So we have angle D congruent to angle C, and since angle D is 46 degrees, Therefore, angle C is also 46 degrees. Next, we have angle O congruent to angle A. It is given also that angle A is 34 degrees. Therefore, angle O is also 34 degrees. What about angle G? We only know that angle G is congruent to angle T. And none of these angles have the given measures. So, we will do the same procedure as what we did in the activity. Okay, we will now solve for the value of the measure of angle G by applying this angle sum theorem of the triangles. 
which states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle G is equal to 180 degrees minus the quantity 46 degrees plus 34 degrees, which are the measures of angle D and angle A respectively. And then we have angle G is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of these two angles, which resulted to 80 degrees. So we have the measure of angle G, which is now equivalent to 100 degrees. And since angle G is congruent to angle T, we can say that angle T is also equal to 100 degrees. Okay, let us now continue for the sides. We have segment DG congruent to segment CT. Since DG is equal to 9, then CT is also 9 or segment CT. Next, we have segment OD congruent to segment AC. Since segment AC is equal to 11.5, then, OD is also 11.5. And lastly, we have segment OG congruent to segment TA. TA is 14. Then, segment OG is also 14. Okay? In this number 2 exercises, we are given again that the pair of triangles DRE and AMS are congruent. So we have this figure. What we will do is to solve for the values of A, B, and C. So let us solve first for the value of A. So we have segment DE congruent to segment AS. And by substitution, DE is equal to 4A and AS is equal to 3A plus 10. So we have 4A is equal to 3A plus 10. Adding negative 3A to both sides of the equation, we have 4A minus 3A is equal to 3A plus 10 minus 3A. So here, we're going to cancel out 3A and negative 3A because this is already equal to zero so we have the value of a which is equal to 10 for the value of b we have segment re congruent to segment ms the value of re is equal to 3b minus 14 while the value of ms is equal to b by substitution so, we have 3B minus 14 is equal to B. Adding negative 3B to both sides of the equation, we have 3B minus 14 minus 3B is equal to B minus 3B. So, again, we have to cancel out 3B and negative 3B because this is already equal to 0. So we have now negative 14 is equal to negative 2b. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 2, we have negative 14 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 2b over negative 2. So in this case, we can cancel this negative 2 also. So this is negative 2. So we have now B is equal to 7. And then for the variable C, we have segment DR. DR congruent to segment AN. And by substitution, we have DR is equal to 5 and AM is equal to C. So we have 5 congruent to C or we have 5 is equal to C. Okay? And for our summary, 
We can solve or find a known side or angle of a triangle by applying the concept of congruent triangles, where the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. For your assignment, you are given triangle ONE congruent to triangle SIX. These are the figures. So given angle S is equal to 29 degrees, angle E is equal to 88 degrees, segment NE is equal to 6, segment SI is equal to 12, and segment OE is equal to 8. You are asked to find number 1, measure of angle N, number 2, measure of angle O, Number 3, measure of angle I. Number 4, measure of angle X. Number 5, measure of segment NO. Number 6, segment SX. And number 7, measure of segment XI. For the second part of your assignment, the given pair of triangles are congruent. Triangle BRI congruent to triangle GHT. You are asked to find the value of A, B, and C. So here, in triangle BRI, BR is equal to 20, RR is equal to 6B minus 5, BI is equal to 4A. While in triangle GHT, you have GH is equal to C, HT is equal to 5B, and GT is equal to 3A plus 10. I hope you learned something. Thank you and God bless. See you again next time.